Hello, I'm Brad Peterson and I run the Executive Briefing Center for Citrix in Santa Clara, California in the heart of Silicon Valley. Here we bring our customers in from around the world to see our products. They meet with our executives and our product subject matter experts and such and we give them a full product demo from end to end of all Citrix products. Now today is all about wow to how and the wow part is the big demo we're going to bring to you guys and the how part is about how you're going to bring these products and solutions and services into your environment. But before we do that, this is all based on the premise in this new world order and a challenge of making certain the IT administrator never comes outside the glass. The administrator manages the hardware, the software, Zen app, Zen desktop, everything is virtualized with Zen server, including our appliances. And it all stays nicely tucked behind the glass. And outside are the end users. And they grab whatever device they choose and connect in using Citrix receiver connect safely into the data center to get their enterprise applications and their virtual desktops delivered to them. So the first step in this tour is application delivery and let's go now. You know as a new employee sometimes you gotta be pretty resourceful. You show up your first day and your desk is clean and you're not quite sure what to do. You want to get to work right away. Well best way to do that is to get a hold of your enterprise applications. And for that, you're going to need a computer. One might show up from IT. Thank you, Tom. And if it does, you can put receiver on it right away and have all your applications delivered via Zen app. Let's do that. If you come into here, open up a browser, that's all it takes to install receiver. And you want receiver on your machine, any device that you want to connect into the data center. If we click and we uh, download and install, you'll find receiver is down here in the sys tray. And as soon as it's installed successfully, it's going to open right up to this user interface that you see here. And this is the self-service user interface, allowing the end user to select the applications they want to run on their machine. So let's do that. Over on the left, all these different application stores, as we click, they show us a number of different apps in here that are available to us as the end user. And yet everybody on the outside, via self-service, with whatever device they choose, wherever they're coming in from, have full access and can be productive and use that particular application. But you know what? I brought my own computer. And that is a MacBook Air. Nice, slim, design, wonderful. For personal use, I edit movies on here, play with music and so forth all the time. But the good news, I can access all my enterprise applications on here in just the same way. I open the browser send it off to Citrix Receiver, because that's the key. Receiver on anything, connect in, get your applications, common theme here. And when I get Receiver installed and functional on here, I'll see it in the task bar. And I open up Receiver to get to that same self-service user interface that you saw on the PC. Now in here, I see SAP there as a choice too. I'm logged on on both sides. If I double click and say I want to run SAP, you're going to see it actually take it off the screen over here and transfer it over to the screen over here. So this is good. I can access these applications wherever I am and on whatever device I am. As long as I'm logged in, doesn't matter where I am, which device, how I'm logged in, when I ask for the app, it'll come straight to me. Because it's not running on these devices, it's running in the data center. And the pixels can be sent anywhere. Now what happens if you're on the road? Disconnect the network. Well, then you can't connect to the applications this way. So the way you do that is stream the applications to the end device. So that's the second way Zen App delivers applications with app delivery. And the way that works is the entire profile of the application, let's say Office Productivity in this case, Office, is packaged up and streamed and run on the CPU and memory on this device right here. After a time expires, bang, it's off the machine and there's nothing left behind. And the big advantage here is, is that you actually never install software on the machine really ever again. You install software in the data center. The IT person installs it in there so that either pixels are sent out or they install it in there so the whole profile is sent down to the machine and executed as though it's installed, but it's not. But the good news, it is here. And I can take it off the network and I can reboot the machine and it'll still run. And we're gonna do that now. We're gonna head off into the world and use these apps out in the wild blue yonder. Here we go. And now we're on the go. So those applications we prepared in Zen app, profiled screen to my laptop, we're going to take them completely off network, 30,000 feet in the air, and be highly productive. Here we go. So here we are now in mid-flight, and we've got apps on a plane. 
And these apps are delivered by ZenApp. They're profiled and then streamed to this machine right here. So they're running on the hard drive memory on this machine. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Outlook. Because we want to work on email while we're here. If I double click on this document here, it knows it's a PowerPoint and it does file type association and it opens up streamed, profiled PowerPoint that was actually delivered and running on this machine. It just knows where it is and it runs it automatically. Now, what happens if I don't have a Windows 7 operating system? And in this case, I have this MacBook Air. Can't stream those same applications and run them on here. So I'm going to need a network connection. Well, it turns out on airplanes, more and more these days, they provide a wireless connection. GoGo Network or something else. Open up the MacBook Air, connect it to the wireless connection, and what would I do next is I'd open up Receiver, much the same as I would back in the office. I can edit and modify the PowerPoint, I can save it, and I can send it back to the person that sent it to me in the first place. And all of that is actually happening in the data center. And the modest wireless connection for me to it is just the pixels being sent and the mouse clicks and keyboard clicks sent back. So it allows me to be highly productive whether I'm on a PC or whether I'm on a Mac. It's ZenApp app virtualization and app delivery at its best. All right, with all that productivity, we have a little spare time on our hands for some shut eye. Oh, and by the way, next up, desktop virtualization. And now we've arrived, desktop virtualization. And this is where we virtualize the entire desktop and deliver it to any device, anywhere, at any time. And the application that we're going to show next is in the manufacturing floor. So let's go into the lab and take a look. Now the difference with desktop virtualization is you don't have a laptop or a desktop or an operating system. You essentially have nothing. So you have to start with something to get your virtual desktop to come to you. Now a great platform for that is a thin client. And here we have an HP thin client and it's running an embedded Windows XP operating system underneath. And what we'll do is authenticate in, log in essentially, and a virtual desktop will be brought to us and that's how we'll work. Now, what if I were on the manufacturing floor and I needed to run some high def manufacturing video? Let's see what happens when we do that. Wow, that was one dangerous manufacturing video. But you know what's interesting about this? It didn't actually render in the data center. If it did, it would have had to send its high def pixels all the way across the network and paint here, and that might have been tough. Now we can do that, but we can do something even better. We automatically detect that this thin client running embedded Windows XP has an embedded Windows media player underneath. And so we talk to it, we have it pull the data stream across the network and render the video for us. But you know, why should I have to be stuck to the workbench here? I should be able to take my manufacturing virtual desktop and take it anywhere I want to go. And I'm going to do just that. Here's an iPad. Imagine what I'm going to do next. iPad, open it up, connect to the App Store. Pull down Citrix Receiver. When Citrix Receiver is down and running, pointed at your Zen Desktop Broker with your login credentials, you click that icon and it's going to take that virtual desktop off the thin client and it's going to move it right onto the iPad. So the entire manufacturing virtual desktop is now here with me in Portable. All my enterprise apps, all my manufacturing apps, right here. And with that, I can take them anywhere I choose to go.